Hello everyone. Hello, hello. <laughs> we got some snow on this side of town. Thanksgiving to everyone. We're broadcasting live from Anchorage. Looks like we got some snowfall right now. Uh, it wasn't snow on the east side. <coughs> We're coming towards the uh, downtown section now. Uh, you guys can probably hear the snow pickling on the window windshield here. Ah, let's see what's going on tonight in our beautiful city here. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Surprisingly, I didn't eat a turkey today. I ate a turkey list today. It's currently 8 p.m. in Anchorage, Alaska Standard Time. <laughs> yeah, we got some snow coming down on this side of town. It wasn't snow on the east side. <coughs> it wasn't snow in uh, Mountain View and Muldoon. Uh, but now it's snowing on the east side or on this side of town, the downtown side. It's pretty interesting. Right here in Fifth Avenue, hopefully you guys can see. It sounds almost like hail, yeah. Bravo, bravo! We're just gonna do a quick cruise in downtown, guys. Nothing too much today. Just a little quick cruise for the night. <clears throat> just to touch base with everyone to see how everyone's doing tonight. So uh, come along and do the ride. We'll cruise downtown for a little bit. We might go check out Midtown for the most part. We're just going to hang out for the next 15, 20 minutes. So come on by, eat your dinner, uh, eat your food, hang out, grab a drink or something. <laughs> oh wow, beautiful snowfall. It did snow yesterday. It snowed yesterday like half an inch. It was very, very small. So we might be getting a little bit more snow today, tonight. Currently in Fifth Avenue. Damn, all the bars are closed tonight. Uh, what is open right now? Nothing's really open. All, all the retail stores are closed. Walmart, Fred Meyer, they're closed right now. They don't open till tomorrow. So a lot of places are closed right now. Gas stations are open, restaurants are closed. Uh, retails are closed. Just your typical business are closed right now. Nothing really much open tonight, today. So I wonder what everyone's doing right now. There's a lot of traffic for a lot of closing stuff right now. It's crazy, this Wells Fargo's right here. They get a lot of vagrant activity, so they finally got their whole building fenced up here. Quite sad. Hello downtown. How are you doing today, downtown? <laughs> yeah man, watch out for drunk drivers. You gotta be drinking tonight, man. Don't do stupid stuff. Don't drink and drive, man. I hate drinking drivers. It ain't worth it, man. It cost you a lot of career, man. You're gonna drink and drive, call a cab, call a lift, call a Uber. There's no excuse this time. This is 2020, there's no excuse for drinking and driving, man. Happy Thanksgiving, James. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone that's watching the broadcast here. <clears throat> Let me know where you guys are watching from. I know a lot of you guys are from Alaska, but I know we do have a lot of outside viewers too. Right now we're on Fifth Avenue here. You guys can see the beef in the in front of us. And uh, we're just gonna take a look around here and see what's popping. We got a lot of traffic or a lot of cars on the sidewalks here, so I wonder if they're at the restaurants. Where are they attending restaurants? Jingle bells. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Why am I singing jingle bells? It's Thanksgiving. Not jingle bells. something in the middle of the row right here. Somebody dropped something in the middle of the row right there. What is that? Looks like an egg cart. It's a big old pot. 
whose plant is that? Who's planting a... Somebody's planting something in front of the 5th Avenue. <laughs> I should have pulled over and put, get it out of the road here. Alright, there's no traffic here, man. Whoa! It's so free tonight in downtown. I think I might come back... I might, uh... I think I might come back here later on tonight and do some filming <coughs> when it's completely dead out here, so... We'll see about that. Alright, anything going on on 4th Avenue here? 4th Avenue? All the restaurants are closed right now. And all the restaurants are closed. Uh... All states are on curfew. Locked down by 10 p.m. doors till 10 p.m. Oh, you have to do a Uh, that's not. Oh. Vegas. Alright. Hello, 4th Avenue. How are you doing today, 4th Avenue? Wow, look at that. It's so pretty. Look at the deadness of 4th Avenue. We got one taxi cab here waiting for one ride. You got one shot. <coughs> so it looks like Gaslight is open. It's Gaslight. Gaslight is one of the uh, bars right here on 4th Avenue. Looks like they're open, I think. Lights are on. <sighs> well, there it is, guys. 4th Avenue. Nothing much going on tonight here. 4th Avenue. Nice and quiet. Looking down G Street here. G Street's completely dead. It has fresh snow on the street. Not a single tire track. Here we are on 4th Avenue. La, 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 la. All right, let me catch up on the comments here. I haven't seen you guys' comments. Happy birthday. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. This home. Hello, Melina. How you doing? Vegas. Spokane. Hello, Tina. What's up, Jace? Thank you, thank you. La, 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 la. It's crazy how fast the holidays goes, man. You guys, have you guys noticed that? <coughs> I just noticed that Halloween was just, it felt like Halloween was just yesterday, and all of a sudden, it's already Thanksgiving, which is roughly by a month apart. By the time you know it, it's going to be Christmas. Jeez. For anyone that doesn't live in Alaska, <clears throat> for me, for my, from my personal experience, living in Alaska, I feel like living in Alaska, time goes by really, really fast. Or the month or the days go by really fast. So I don't know about you guys, but for me, as an Alaskan resident or someone who lives in Alaska, <clears throat> I just feel like time goes by really fast. The day goes by really fast and the year goes by really fast so if anyone's from Alaska let me know if you guys feel the same way man because I feel like with the season like the winter summer transition like things just flies man like by the time you know it's summer by the time you know it summer's over and by the time you know it boom winter winter's over kaboom kaboom boom. like the whole winter and the whole summer transition makes everything feel super super fast Back here on 5th Avenue, we're gonna do a quick cruise down 6th. I think I'm gonna go, uh, you guys see that pot earlier? I'm gonna go by there and pick it up real quick. It's in the middle of the road, which is kind of dangerous. Yeah, Halloween was just... such thing as crazy drivers. We're all crazy drivers. <laughs> Alright guys, let's do a quick pit stop here. Let's do a quick pit stop. Alright. Pit stop. Let's go out for a little quick walk. Hopefully, uh, I'm gonna leave my car running, so hopefully nobody's trying to steal it. Let's get out for a quick walk. Let's go pick up that little pot that's in the middle of the road here. It's quite dangerous, so let's make sure we take care of the other motors. Oh, this is Town Square right here, guys.
snowing here, snowing huge here in Seward, six plus inches already. Shout out to uh, Cheryl Cherie for Rush Cringe for reporting from Seward. Seward is about two and a half hours, three hours south of Anchorage. It's a beautiful place. <coughs> I've never been to Seward in the winter time. Um, I should go check it out in this winter time. 2020 Christmas tree for sure. 29, 29. Huh? What do you guys saw? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's let's keep, keep the cruise going. So we just did a quick pit stop right here on Town Square. All right, let's get out of here. Oh wow, Town Square is nice nowadays. <coughs> <coughs> So if you guys don't know, uh, that's that whole center area of Town Square, um, usually by February or so, when it gets cold enough, they usually turn that into an ice rink, and people will go out there and just um, ice skate and stuff like that. But um, right now it's not cold enough, but usually that big open area right in front of that Christmas tree, <coughs> usually um, by January, February, it becomes an ice rink. So, all right guys, so there's nothing much here in downtown. We'll go ahead and check out, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and check out Fairview. Billy's requesting Fairview. So we'll go check out Fairview, see what's going on in Fairview, and stuff like that. No problem, Anna. Like I said, make sure everyone's safe on the road here. Bus stations are closed. I think the whole sit the whole city bus is closed today. I don't think I don't think they're operating. I remember when I remember a couple years ago I spoke with somebody <coughs> and they did have one complaint about Anchorage. And it's very true. Anchorage does have a um, a very lack of a very lack of support of public pu uh, Public transfer, uh, transport, transportation. Um, I remember the lady was complaining that you know how their city bus they close at a certain hour. Um, not like downstate where some city bus open 24/7, <coughs> so it's not really convenient to other people. And I did kind of find that true because there are other people that work night shifts and stuff like that. And that's the one thing I I remember. Oy, pothole. There's a bus station at the museum. This is the museum right here. Man, it's really nice and quiet out huh? Bicycles, really nice. It's really hard to ride your bicycle out here unless you have like a fat bike or uh, unless you're like on the pavement. Friday shopping. If you guys are doing Black Friday shopping, let me know where you guys are gonna go this uh, tomorrow morning, and uh, let me know what you guys are going for. Are you guys going for electronics, tools, whatever it may be. Let me know what kind of deals you guys are going up for. I was thinking about going out tomorrow and doing a video about Black Friday in Anchorage, but uh, the hype isn't there anymore, man. Like the, the hype isn't as as cool as it used to be. 
I truly believe that a couple years ago when people did the whole Black Friday thing where there's like tons of people rushing, I truly believe that a good amount of people did it because of the whole, you know, the the awesomeness of it, you know, just the just the fact that, you know, you get out there and just big crowds. A lot of people did it just for that. They didn't do it for the sales, so since ever since the hype died, it's really not really worth it no more. This is the Cars on Gamble here. They're open. Cars on Gamble is open. That's interesting. <clears throat> I know Walmart was closed today. Um, Walmart was closed today, and then the Fred Meyer was open today. But the Fred Meyer they closed at 3, 3 p.m. So the car Safeway is open. That's good. This is the car Safeway. <laughs> Their parking lot has a lot of potholes, so make sure you be careful. No deal in my town is on lock, lockdown pretty much. Which town are you from, Trevor? Shopping, a lot of e-commerce e has taken over. You know, a lot of online shopping nowadays. Um, that kills the whole vibe now. All right, I don't think we're gonna go midtown, guys. We're not gonna go midtown tonight. We're just gonna go back. Oh, <laughs> no tickle. I never heard of that place before. in the uh, Fairview neighborhood of Anchorage, Alaska. <sighs> A lot of people walking down the roads, man. Make sure you guys wear uh, reflective. It's very dark out here. show you guys a little bit of Fairview. I know we always drive through Fairview, but we always stop by the Cars on Gamble. Um, let me show you guys a little bit of the neighborhoods and stuff like that if you guys are interested in it. <clears throat> um, let's go through this street, street here. This street right here is called Cartluke, and um, I'm going to show you guys for anybody that's out, out of Alaska, uh, for all my folks that are watching out of Alaska, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the neighborhood of Fairview. Uh, Fairview is a mixed neighborhood of apartments, houses, and you know some duplex here and there so show you guys some of the residential side um, just so you guys get an idea what it looks like I know it's dark right now but you guys can see a little bit of what's going on here can you drive by Alaska Native Medical Center that's a good thought yeah so this right here is the Fairview <coughs> the neighborhood residential <coughs> and again there is a like I said it's a mix of everything <laughs> A lot of houses, not a lot of houses, but a very mix of houses and apartments. I would say that there's a good percentage of each right here. It's a quiet neighborhood too. A lot of people do compare Fairview to Mountview as far as like, oh, which one's dangerous, which one has more sketchiness. And to be honest, I mean, they, I mean, it, it really, it really depends. I mean, like whenever I drive through these neighborhoods, I don't feel like I'm, my life is threatened or I don't feel like I'm scared. Um, it really depends on who you hang out with. Let's go through this alleyway. Let's go through this alleyway here. The thing about these crimes, <clears throat> when people hear about these crimes in Mountain View and Fairview, a lot of these crimes are not random. They happen to like they happen to people that are having trouble with each other. So it's not like a random folk came up to the wrong alleyway and then they get shot. It's not those kind of crimes. The crimes that you hear in Mountain View and Fairviews are crimes where a buddy might shoot somebody or a buddy shoot his own buddy. Or it's 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 personal crime. It's not a random crime. So I feel like the people have the wrong 
misconception when it comes to crimes in the Mountain View, Fairview section. So even if you're just driving through these neighborhoods, it's not like you're gonna get shot or mugged. It's not like that. It's not like downstate. So a lot of people think that these neighborhoods are bad like that, but they're not bad like that. They're only bad because people hang out with the wrong people and they have personal issues and stuff. So hopefully people get the hopefully people know that clarification. But for the most part, it's nice neighborhoods. There's, you know, if you do you, they, if you do you, that's, that's what matters. This is an alleyway right there. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, I've been watching some, uh, I've been watching a lot of videos where people go show like the neighborhoods downstate and stuff like that, like Los Angeles, Michigan, Detroit, and stuff like that. Just stuff in just other cities in downstate. <coughs> and they show like the worst place of those states. And when I compare that to Anchorage, Anchorage is nothing like that. So um, people that say that Anchorage is bad, hasn't they just haven't been down south yet. Because Anchorage ain't that bad. And like I said again, it's only bad if you hang out with the bad people. For the most part, when you uh, when something bad happens, it's because you're in the wrong crowd, or you're just. It's very rare that you're there at the wrong time, at the wrong place. So that's just a little something. But yeah, for the most part, there's houses. Like it's a mix of everything. You have houses, apartment right next to each other. So it's a very very mix. <laughs> It's very quiet too. Not a lot of people out. Everybody's indoor. Right now everybody's probably having Thanksgiving dinner, so I would assume people are having dinner right now and hanging out with family and stuff like that. So let's get out of here. So this is just one side of Fairview. If we cross back to the road that we came the main road, the bar right there, <coughs> um, there's another section and that's there's houses and apartments on that side too. Happy Thanksgiving. No, we're in Fairview right now, not Mountain View. I'm in Ohio and we have curfew of 10 to 5. Wow, so you guys have curfew already. That's crazy. Screw that. I cannot live in a city that has... I can't, I can't believe that America is doing this, man. I can't believe that the USA, we are now setting ourselves curfews. Like, what's wrong, man? What happened to the USA, man? Never let your government do that to you guys. Don't let your government set curfews for you. Uh -huh. Whoa, 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 this guy's sliding. Line of scrimmage. Speaking of curfews and stuff like that, the, uh, the acting mayor of Anchorage did put a new order down for Anchorage and supposedly Anchorage is gonna go back to a hunker down slash lockdown mode next month December 1st which is technically in a few days here so a lot of people are pretty pissed off about it especially people that are uh, especially the business people especially the business aspect because they have to shut down or limit their capacity so it has pissed off a lot of business people and a lot of regular people too so I don't know let me know what you guys think about that and it's supposed to go from December 1st till um, January or something like that. So it's a whole month of hunker down. Just like what we did during the whole March, April, May issue. So I'm going to be surprised to see how that goes.
do a quick cruise through Mountain View and then we'll go ahead and let you guys go for the night so you guys can hang out with your ref and enjoy the rest of your Thanksgiving. But let's hop out our let's hop out of Mountain View real quick. Right now we're in the airport heights section. This is airport heights right here. <coughs> Everything on the right hand side over here is all residential. Um, you got a lot of houses and a lot of apartments here and there. I'm in I'm in Baltimore experience. This is a whole extreme level different extreme level people should stay in, in as much as possible that this whole shutdown has a different agenda in my opinion this is the old car safeway that shut down right here on uh, North Bay Mall and also the North Bay Mall right here it's a big empty parking lot now it looks like it's a place for snow storage we're gonna hop over to Mountain View real quick guys this is back on to the highway right here <clears throat> you guys want to know what my prediction is on the shutdown here's what my prediction is they're gonna start the hunker down in Anchorage uh, December 1st and then they're gonna extend to January 1st and then when January when it's when it's almost time for January 1st they're gonna go ahead and extend it again oh let's do it one more month and I have a guarantee you that they're gonna probably go out till March so yep yeah, get ready for that because guess what that's what they did early this spring they started the shutdown around March oh we'll do what we'll do it for 30 days and guess what they expanded it for another 30 days extended it for another 30 days until summer finally came and people were like screw it i don't care about the hunker down no more i'm gonna go fishing i'm gonna go do my outdoor stuff and everybody just kind of went and did their stuff bom happened and everybody just kind of went and did their stuff and then oh okay who cares about the hunker downs anymore so just look at the history you guys we gotta look at our own history and uh that's what's gonna happen <clears throat> <coughs> around Christmas time they're gonna be like oh we're gonna have to extend this hunker down again and it's probably gonna go till February March and then by the time you know it it's spring and everybody's gonna go out and do their own thing and kind of forget about the whole hunker down the only reason why people are hunkering down right now because it's winter and there's really no need to go outside so but if you look at it when they did that in March people were hunkered down because it was still winter and then boom as soon as spring came and fishing season started and summer started people didn't care about it no more they just went and did their own stuff everybody kind of slowly forgot about the whole hunker down they never really made a they never really announced that okay we're lifting the hunker down now and everybody just kind of went and did their own thing went and protest went and fish that's what that's how it is man all right so we're in Mountain View here for that topic we're in Mountain View here this is Price Street we're gonna go through the neighborhoods here very quiet neighborhood everyone's this. everyone's home today <laughs> hello late night drive man it is hot <coughs> This blue building right here is the Boys and Girls Club, East um, Muldoon, you know, Mountain View. So right now we're in the residential area of Mountain View. Uh, a lot of mix of apartments and houses. 
a lot of new houses has been built here so I've been really surprised man Mountain View has been a grown community in my in my, in my eyes a lot of new houses and lots of new apartments have gone up in the last couple years here so that's that's progress in my opinion sitting in the row in the middle of this row right here doing something. What are you doing? Sitting in the middle of the row and smoke a joint. <laughs> Here's some of the apartments right here for you guys. These are some of the apartments right here in Mountain View. These are some of the bigger apartments. <coughs> It's really nice and quiet today. Like I said, um, all these neighborhoods we've been going through have been really, really quiet. right here uh oh you know what that means they're getting ready to do a they're getting ready to do a they're getting ready to check out something oh there's lots of cops right now there's three cops four cops there's four cops in Mountain View right now they must be doing a search or something interesting yeah when you see uh when you see two or more cops in Mountain View all in one block they're most likely uh <coughs> business with something. Do you drive through Bragra? What part of Bragra? Just the whole road Bragra? Welcome to Bragra. If you guys don't know Bragra Street, Bragra Street starts from Mountain View all the way at the end of Mountain View and goes all the way to Northern Lights. Uh, it's pretty one of the main street on the east side that connects the east side
Rice Buster. This pawn shop here has been here ever since. Ever since I was a little kid, I always go there. Price Buster. A little nice pawn shop there. Cool guys. Cool owners. Last time I was there was like last month, and they didn't have a lot of inventory anymore. A lot of their gun selection, their new guns, is sold out. Um, I know their inventory was kind of low. All right, guys. Here's some of the business districts. Some of the business district right here in Mountain View. <coughs> Boniface. 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 We just call it Boniface. Boniface. Boniface Parkway. Damn, there's lots of cops in Mountain View. Oh my gosh, I think I'm, yeah, I'm gonna get out here. my friends and fans hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful cruise tonight we're gonna go ahead and end the live video i know you guys wanted to see more stuff but next time we'll do it uh it's been a pretty long cruise already <clears throat> started on the started on the downtown uh went to the fairview kind of the midtown area fairview area actually and then did a quick cruise through the <clears throat> did a quick cruise through mountain view so we'll go ahead and leave you guys leave you guys now you guys enjoy the rest of your Thanksgiving. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there. Um, if you're going Friday, Black Friday shopping, be safe out there. And I'll see you guys next time on my next live video. Have a wonderful night.